everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. This video, we're going to be painting a model from Arcade Quest Riders. This is going to be Toshi. This was requested from Patreon subscriber Shelly. Thank you very much, Shelly. She's got the request right. She picks a model every month, and this is hers this month. We're going to start by using Army Painter's Color Primer. This is the leather brown one. I've done this already. I've not really shown you priming it, and it's going to look kind of similar to how it looks when it comes because it's a brown plastic. And this is just leather brown on top, so you can see a slight difference there. I'm trying to highlight it for you. Very, very, very slight difference, but it's going to allow me to put the paint on top. And I want to use Army Paint as paints for most of this, so I've gone out of my way to go outside and definitely prime this one for once using the spray primer. We're going to start with Filthy Zoo, a light grey. So if you've got a light grey, let's start that with the horns. I'm also going to do his teeth in grey. They look a little bit sort of grey in the picture. They go up to sort of a white color anyway, so I don't think, it, and once I've added a wash, it's not really massively gonna matter what base color I use there, so I just use that then. Necromancer cloak, a dark gray. This is like essentially the darkest gray, well, it's darkest gray I've got. I don't know if you can get a darker gray. It's, it's very close to black, but it's a nice, like I much prefer the dark grays to the blacks. They're easier to work with and easier sort of to highlight up without just making it look like it's black with gray on it. This is gray with gray on it. Uh, <laughs> similar, but I don't, know, I don't know. I think it's nicer. I'm going to use my hobby holder with that sort of um, grip uh, add on that you can get, and that's just going to make it easier. And interestingly enough, with the bottle cap on it, it sort of fitted perfectly, just wedged inside Toshi's bottom. So it's holding it pretty well. Um, have to be a little bit careful. The blue tack didn't quite reach to hold it in place. So it's a little bit. If you apply pressure, it's a bit wobbly, but you know, it'll it'll do, it'll do. That was deep shade. I just applied deep shaded by the army paint, apologies. Uh just applied that to all of the leather browns just so it went and really dark first darkened it down, but also just went into all the recesses to make them very, very shadowy. I'm then gonna use just a cheap brush. This is one of those ones that I got from Quick Draw Supplies, a link in the description below, 10 cents each or something. And I'm just gonna dry brush over with leather brown and just really bring back that base colour. After that, I'm going to mix in some of that goblin skin. Now, if you recall correctly, and I recall correctly, if we all recall together, that came in the, the Army Painter uh, Green Horde set. So it's a very desert yellow color. So something, a very yellowy brown mixed in about 50-50. That's going to you know differ slightly depending which exact paints you've got. But if you've got the exact paints I've got, it's about 50-50. Then I'm going to use a detail brush. This is my Rubes Moon Co. Zero? Maybe it's, no, there's the big one. That's the three, one, eight, 15. I find the numbers difficult to know which is which. Let me go and look it up one sec. Uh, it, was, it was one. I was right. <laughs> first first try. I don't know why I listed all of them. So this is watered down heavily as well, about 50% water afterwards. So that's really going to blend nicely. And I'm just, ha I'm catching all the tips of all of the fur and all, all the center edges as well. And just making that look nicely highlighted. I'm then going to use Filthy Suit. Again, watered down heavily, probably 50% water in this. And I'm just going to paint back in most of the base colors of those horns, leaving the recesses with that deep shade inside it. I'm going to use Abomination Gore. That's quite, it's quite dark, but quite a bright red. I don't really know how to describe it. I always think it's like my dark, well, I guess it's the only red from the army paint that I've got. So it's the red that I use. Um, and this is going to be to paint those saddle bags that he's got, all of the, the seat that he's got that, Aren't the details you'll see as I go along? So it's the so the the outer edge and the inner edge of the seat, if that makes sense. I'm going to leave some bits to do gold, and then I'm also going to do that rolled up magic carpet. I don't, I don't know what's on his back. I'm going to do that as well using this red as well. So this model actually is only a handful of colours. Um, it's not too bad to paint, to be honest. It's quite quick. I uh, it did remind me of not painting a chibi in a while. And chibis are really difficult. Um, does anybody else find that? I think they're really, really large, flat surfaces. I find it incredibly difficult to add depth to a you know, flat surface, yet it would have depth. So doing the, the highlights and shades is really difficult. And I switch, and you'll see as I go through this video, I'm switching between sort of fine detailing in those, that in adding in that depth, using that wash and highlighting back up his fur. But then sometimes I just do a quite a cartoony style, which also suits the chibi models. I'm going to use jumpsuit shader. That's a red wash and this is the army painted one citadel's got one still don't know if vallejo do washes they must do right um i'm just going to put that all over everywhere I just painted in red so i'm just i'm sort of for once not doing all, all the base coat and then all the washes i'm doing the washes as i go along because they need to be a little bit more precise than they normally do and i'm just being more careful 
that they don't mess up bits that I've done previously or I'm about to do that sort of thing so I'm just doing that as I go along that's the reason for that and here I'm just I am going to use a Vallejo color it's the blue violet I just feel like I don't have this color in my army painter set maybe toxic oils that, that, that's a lot lighter but you you know once you've added the wash it's maybe going to be similar if you've only got that toxic boils would probably do there and if you don't care about being super close to the artwork who cares only spikes are going to use those this color it's just an off white it's a bit yellowy and that's just for those wraps that are around these staffs sticks that are on the, the side of Toshi here I'm using that new yellow that I got in model box uh, they send some random paints every month in that subscription box that I get and they sent an instar brilliant yellow so I thought I'd try that out here see how I get on with it bright gold as I mentioned I'm going to do the sort of details all those red bits they're going to be done in a gold I'm going to use army paints bright gold so that's the edges of that let's call it the magic carpet on the back uh, he's got some sort of like clasps, buckle things on those satchels. And then I'm going to do all of the details. He's got these, these lines running around the saddle part. So I'm going to do that in gold. And I'm also going to do the bulk of the saddle, the bit where the, the miniature will stand and sit. I'm going to do that in gold. That's probably going to be a mistake. You'll see. You decide for yourself. Like, I think it's fine by the end. But, you know, darker colors possibly going to be come better you, you you'll be familiar if you've painted gold golds and yellows are difficult to 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 put on and i'm not super impressed with the the strokes that you can see sort of thing so maybe choose a different color there it's not going to matter too much the model's going to be on it but you know it's up to you. you you've seen how the gold came out and judge for yourselves and and, and choose a color wisely i'm going to use survivor shader which is a black shader by the army painter Nuln oil by citadel would be similar and that's to do all the gold recessed areas. So I've just done around the edge of the saddle, the bit where the model sits, sorry. And then I've made sure plenty of flown in in the the gaps between the details I'm still going. I've just switched down to my detail brush. I hadn't even noticed. Uh, I used a big brush and then I'm down into the detail brush just to get this the shade around the edges of all the gold, all those details, and just make that really, really pop out. It looks quite cartoony in it. That, that's definitely improved it nicely. And I'm going to use Toxic Shader, the last shade I'm going to use. This is a purple shader that I've got from one of the Zombie Side sets. And I'm just going to apply that all over both sides, front, back, top, middle, everywhere of those, those staffs, those purple staffs that are on the side of Toshi. Then I'm going to go around and highlight using bright gold. So on, on the clasps, I'm going to be edge highlighting as best I can. On these details on the satchels, I'm just going to be painting in a thin line down the middle, just making that look more realistic. Same on all the detail on his on his saddle and at the edges around the the magic carpet as well if, if we if we're calling it that I still uh, blue violets back out again i'm just going to add on this is what i was saying about the cartoony highlights here i'm not trying to be too subtle i'm just going for bish bash bosh cartoon style paint a big thick this is heavily watered down by the way all of these highlights have been heavily watered down so they blend nicely but just painted a line across both the tops of the staffs and dotted a bit on either edge of the staff staves staffs and then abomination go up for all the red and i'm just going to go around edge highlighting those satchels again just doing a similar to the the gold i'm just going to paint down the, the center of all the red parts and the top of that magic carpet i'm going to do a few coats off camera here as well and just build it up it's it's again it's watered down heavily it's really really thin and i'm just going to build that up gradually putting more and more towards the areas i would like to stand out and be more highlighted like the tops of all of the raised parts I'm going to use zombie skin just to highlight again water down heavily so it's going to blend nicely highlight up those wraps around those staves just down the center again basically i'm going to use a little bit of dead black and that's to get in his pupils on his eyes i'll oh, just speak reminded me that instar yellow doesn't seem any better or different to any yellow i've used it was difficult to apply took a lot of coats had to keep watering it down to try and keep it looking good it was hard hard work Filthy suit, 50% with um, matte white. Again, water down heavily. And I'm just going to paint on as though some light's hitting the sort of tops of his horns. Just painting and just sort of smooshing. I'd describe that into and making it blend and look quite realistic. And then a little bit of matte white to dot in two sort of reflection circles in those pupils. Those pupils are detailed, by the way. So the black will sort of... In, in into the pupil so it's quite easy to paint that's it that's toshi completely finished it took me about an hour and nine minutes like that leather brown primer saved me uh, a whole world of time so highly recommend the 
color primers. I know some people dislike them, but they just save so much time. We've got so much to do. So big, I, I, I love them personally. And that's it. So thanks to Shelly for suggesting this first Arcadia Quest Riders model we managed to get out. Hope you all enjoyed it. Do check out Patreon if you're interested in controlling the content on the channel and supporting the channel, you know, heck, support us away. Thank you all very much for watching.